what's up everybody it's tweets here uh this video i'm gonna go over making a custom vest so <clears throat> just like every other mod you know create your uh your folder and your p drive get your uh textures and rv mats all set up and then once you get that get your uh I've already started some of this because I made this a little bit, but we're going to go over it detailed on what to do. So, get your model imported, scale it, and then once you get your model in, you're going to grab a proxy. So, you're going to go to Browse, go to your P drive, DZ, Characters. And what you're going to want is you're going to go to tops and you're going to look for, you're, you're going to want to do a jacket because that way you can size it and scale it so it is not clip, so the jacket doesn't clip through. So you're going to want to use a jacket and I'm going to use um, the M65 jacket. We'll use that. So let me grab that. I'm going to go with the male one first. Um, you could do a female model also doing the same thing that we're doing here, but with a female proxy, line it up for that. So once you have that in your uh, bulldozer, you can line it up. You're going to want to move your model. So you're going to want to select your whole model. Create your hidden selections. Just make sure when you select your model, you do not select your proxy for the um, body of the jacket. You're going to slide this up because right here is the bottom center line on Object Builder. So you're going to move that up to the body of the jacket until you get it all lined up. And you're just going to keep moving it around, lining it up until you get it and sizing it until you get it right where you want it. Once you do that and you get it exactly where you want it, and then you're happy with the positioning and the size, then you can delete that jacket proxy. So you just click on that proxy, hit delete on your keyboard, and then right click the proxy and delete it. Make sure you do not delete your model. Once you have all that, then you want to grab your proxy for any attachments. So in this case, I just did a plate carrier holster just to use as a reference. So you just, like you would do, just go to proxy under create, browse, go to your P drive, DZ, characters, and for any, like vest proxies, go into vest and then Click on any of the ground models, so like the holster, click on holster underscore G, or pouches, click on, um, yeah, right here, play carry holster underscore G, and then look for play carry pouch underscore G if you want pouches, or if you have your own proxies, go to that folder and get that model. <coughs> but once you get your proxy in, line it up where you want it, rotate it however you didn't want until you get it right where you want it. Once you have that, you're gonna start making weight. You're gonna start weight painting it. Um, this part could be tricky on some clothing. So you're gonna start with spine one. Now you see I've already done it. So all you're gonna really do is just right, uh, you're gonna left hold left click and drag. And you're just gonna select portions of your model. now. You're going to have to go to, right under where surface is, you're going to have to go to select verticals. Tick that. Otherwise, when you go to select something, you're going to select big chunks of it, and you don't want to do that. So if you select verticals, you just select only what you want. And then once you get what you want selected, so this is going to be spine one. It's always going to be the lower end of the chest area. And then you would, once you get what you want, you would right click over here with your hidden selections, create new, and call it spine one, like I did already right here. And then you're going to go with spine two, which is more middle. 
So you're gonna, again, select the portion. And then with spine two, also make sure you select your proxy. So you're gonna wanna click on this one, you're gonna go out your faces and just get that select object so you can get the whole proxy by holding Alt so you can select both. So what you would do is again, select the middle portion go over here under faces click select object hold left alt and then get your proxy for that pouch or holster then you can let go of left alt once that's selected and then you can right click over here where you're hitting selections create new and then name it Spine 2. Once you have that done, you're going to go to Spine 3, which is the whole top half. So from the middle and the top. And then also make sure you go sled verticals again. And then once you have that selected, create new, call it Spine 3, done. And once you have all of that, um, pretty much also another thing, the, um, proxies, if you're going to have pouches any, or things lower, you're going to want to put it on the proper spot. So say I want to put something lower on the model. You're going to put that to the spine one instead of the spine two. So wherever the proxy is going to be, tie it in to that, that selection, that skeleton selection. Um, and you could add proxies even after you got these selections set up. And all you'd have to do is just say, if I just wanted to add another thing, I would just go and then say, I'll, I'll do a pouch real quick. I'm not going to fully add it, but I'll just give you an idea. So I grab the ground pouch model. <coughs> I would line it up to where I want it. And say I wanted it right down here. And then I would say, click on spine one. Hold it left alt. Go select object again. Select the proxy. Go to spine one. Right click on it. And hit redefine. And then once you hit redefine. When you click on spine one. It'll have the proxy selected as well. Uh, we don't want, I don't want that on this one, so I'm just going to control Z that and <coughs> delete that proxy because I don't want it right now. All right. So that, that's pretty much that part with the proxies. And now you're going to need to do the shoulders. So you're going to go over here and you're going to have to be careful on some of these models. And you just don't want to select the shoulders. Now, since this is the front view, on the top corner here you're gonna it's gonna be inverted so this side is gonna be your left shoulder so make sure you have select verticals under surfaces here and then you're gonna just select the left shoulder area and then you're gonna create a new and call it left shoulder just like I have here and you're gonna do the same and you can get a little by holding left alt, you can do multiple, like, make it a little neater until you get exactly what you want. And then let go of that. And then create new right shoulder. And then that's it. So then that's the weighted part. And then now it's all weighted for the skeletal. It's lined up with the body. And then everything looks good once it's selected. Make sure you have that all done. Um, before this, uh, you, it's best to apply your textures like I've showed in other videos. Just hit E, apply your RV mat and textures to it. <clears throat> so once you have all of that, you're going to give this top log here the property log no shadow value of 1. And then you're going to go with your geometry. 
So just like everything else I've done in my other videos, create a box, get it around the model, line it up, and then structure, find components under uh, topology, and then also add a spine to underneath it so the geometry will stay attached to the spine. And then property, auto center, zero, like every other geometry we've done. And then we're going to create, you can just copy these components and create a uh, view geometry and a fire geometry. And that's that for the geometries. Once you have all of that done, then you can duplicate your top wad a few times. And then you can save it. And then what you're going to want to save it as whatever you want to call it. This is going to be for the male because we uh, did it. We lined it up with a male uh, jacket proxy. So this is going to be the male model. So underscore M. You do the same step. You can take this same model and then just delete these. Keep in your top one. And then spawn and create another proxy and get the female jacket and then line it up with that one. Once you have that lined up, delete the proxy out like you did the other one and then reduplicate it because you're not going to have to change much because you already got the weights and everything set up. And then save it as and instead of underscore M, underscore F. But I'm not doing that here, but just so you know, that's that's how you would do that. Once you have that all done, then you're going to take your model and you're going to drag it, select everything, including the proxy. So go to um, select object again so you can select like, just the majority of everything. <clears throat> Once you have that, uh, also delete your um, mods here until you're back to 0 0.000. .000. You're going to drag that down to the center. And then we're going to start working on the ground model, which I already have here. Once you have that down to the center line, you're going to just change. You could delete all the spine one, spine two, spine three, and then select everything and create a new one and call it ground. Also, make sure you have on both models, the male, the female, and the ground, make sure you have your hidden selection, ZBTEC or camo or camo male, camo female, whatever you want. Just make sure you have that. <clears throat> Once you have your selections done, and you have it onto the ground lined up, you can uh, duplicate your odds until you get to about three or four it's fine and you're gonna create a geometry you can just go use the same one that you have on your male models move it down to the bottom line it up with the model delete the spine to keep the component and keep auto center and it's the same with view geometry and fire geometry and then in this one because it's the ground model you're going to be adding the memories. So you just bound in box min, mats, and in views, really all I added. That's really all needed, really, for this one. And that's just to show how it sits on the ground um, and also in your inventory. The image, the in view here shows is what the image is on your inventory. And then that's it. So make sure you, uh, once you have all that set up, you uh, save it. Give it your name and then underscore G for the ground model. And then once you have all that done, make your model config. You can use the same one from this folder here that I put. It'll be in the description on the video. 
it all has to have this temporary skeleton selection. All these bones, this all has to be in your monitor fit for any clothing. And then towards the bottom, you're going to have your ground model with your selections and ground. Give it the ground model name, so the exact name of your ground model. Then you're going to go down here, and you're going to have the male and female ones. So if you had male and female, it would be, you can just copy this one, put it right underneath it, and change the underscore M to underscore F. Make sure it's the same exact name of your models. Got your hidden selection right there, ZBTet. And then that's it, and then save it. I'm going to delete the female because I didn't make a female one for this video. And then you just save it, and then that's it. Model trick fade done. Then you're going to trick fade it. So this model here, I, pretty, I just went and I grabbed the vanilla plate carrier code, copied it over. And then I just used their class name for the vanilla play carry as the base class. And then my class name that I just made for this class, for this vest. So sample vest. And then you get your model path. So just get your model path. And then your model name. And then you just start going through changing things. This attachment so far, I the vest holster, um, you could add, you know, vest, uh, the plate carrier and stuff if you want. So whatever your attachments are, you would add it there. Weight, you could change how much it weighs. So I'm just going to set this at 800 just for video purposes. Item size, this is how it is, sits in your inventory. How many slots it'll take up if you're not wearing it. Um, you can change that. This is for the wetness. Um, I think, yeah, if you um, set this slide higher, it'll be more, more waterproof than anything. Heat is isolation. This is for how warm it is. So if you want, like, best insulation, set it to something like this or higher um, and then the lower it is the obviously the the less insulation it is so again model pass you don't want the top one here make sure it's the ground model and then you're gonna come down the clothing type so once you've done all this other stuff and then you're gonna have your male model and then your female model now you're gonna start going to your damage system which we did in the weapons videos and uh, of the previous videos and just set it to your uh, RV mats you can change the hit points so you would um, get your first two is your base your regular RV mat and then the second two would be the damage RV mat and then the last one will be destruct and then we're gonna start doing global armor so for this it's a little backwards Damage, to make it better, you want the lowest. The lower the number, the stronger the protection. So this here, the way this is set, is actually pretty pretty OP. Um, this will take, take quite a bit of big rounds. So you can set it to like 20. It'll be, if you set it to 0 0.20, it'll be kind of close to the vanilla plate carrier. Um, but yeah. You just, the lower the number, the stronger. Um, you, and you could go even lower by adding point zero one, but I'm not going to do anything with that. So just remember that. The lower, the stronger. Once you have the damage system, that's it. You can close it out and add animation. This whole anim events, but you don't really need to. It comes with the uh, play here anyways. Just close it out with all this. And then that's it. And then make sure you have under units, same class names, sample vest, DC characters for required add ons, and then save it. And then turn fade C, and then save it. Once you have all of that, you can pack it 
and testing. All right, now that we are in game and testing, I always like to test an editor. Um, sometimes it's quicker for me to do that. Um, I show how to set that up in um, a couple other videos previously. So, but <clears throat> once we're in game, we're gonna spawn in our vest. We're gonna get our vest in near it. Uh, I'm gonna take off all this other junk that I don't want in the way. And I'm gonna put the vest on. Alright. Now it's on. As you see, it's staying to the body. It's formed with the body just right. The uh, holster is staying with it. So you're gonna go around, do a little testing. Lay down, make sure it stays with the body, no flipping. And then once you've done that, then it's good to go. Now you got a vest, custom vest. It's, uh, it's a little weird, but it's a little different if you're doing like pants or jackets. Um, I'll go over that in another video. The weighting is a little different. You want to be more precise with that, but for, like helmets. Uh, backpacks and vests it will be similar to the, what we just did. I will be making a backpack tutorial soon also. But yep, so there it is. How to make a custom vest. And if you have any questions, like always, link to my Discord will be in the description, plus the link to the file that we just worked on will also be in the description. And, uh, yeah, so have fun with that. Thanks, and like, share, and sub for more, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.